Harvey Porras trying to avoid Sam Ekwe, like trying to find a hole. Robles looks like an offensive foul, and it is an offensive foul on Chris Robles. A little uh, lowering of the shoulders that time for Chris Robles. Kunting uh, gulang, no? pero maganda yung uh, acting job na pinakita doon itong si uh, Karam. Or yung sino ba to? Si... Uh, Tirona, Chico uh, si Tirona. Si Chico Tirona pala naglalala na. So frustrations just mounting here for St. Benil. That's the fourth personal foul on Chris Robles. De Malinda, the jumper, overshoots. There is Sam. Sam Ekwe, but losing it. Monte Castro saved it to the right person. Over to Porras. Now to Live. Live will bring it down. We would also like to say good morning to all our TFC subscribers in the Pacific. We are seen every Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays. 5 a.m. to 7 in the morning. Thank you so much to all our TFC subscribers, wherever you are. Sam Ekwe inside. Taupa. And Taupa, who we rarely see play. So this is really good for the Sun Better Red Lions, which thank you, Lim. Really shuffling and going deep to his bench. Saka makikita mo talaga, no? na, alam nila kung nasa ng uh, strength ng kanilang uh, uh, team. They're going to the height mismatches, giving the extra passes. Taupo with, uh, with that open uh, layup that was fouled by uh, CSP. So everybody's been, being given a chance to score here in this game. But there is Yusuf Aljamal sitting by the announcer's table, probably. Hindi pa tapos, hindi pa tapos ang araw. Ito si Yusuf Aljamal as he comes back. To give, itong si, uh, sino bang papahinga? Diego Gamalinda. Ah, si Gamalinda, wala ka. Alam niya sa akin, ito yung uh, kanyang ilabas. Tingnan mo naman yung uh, defense na pinapakita dito ng, ng uh, San Beda. Hindi pa rin sila tapos, ano? With uh, only 3 minutes and 27 seconds. You would have to love the energy of everybody from, from San Beda. From Pong Escobal to Yusuf Aljamal. From the starters to the second stringers to the third stringers. Of course, Chico Terona with a foul, but... The defense, like you, like you mentioned, Alan, na pinakita nito si Alvin Padilla and Chico Tirona, whom we rarely see play. Ibang klase, no? yung uh, scoring as you see uh, Pong Escobal. Just relaxing. Maganda na yung uh, pahinga niya sa... <laughs> He's done for the day, that's for sure. 71-46. Under four minutes to play in this game. David Ura, the long one, is good. It's a two-pointer, long two-pointer for David Ura. Yusuf Aljamal looking for a teammate. He does get it in to Chico Tejona. Tejona over to Aljamal, the three pointer for Yusuf. And again, the rebounding of uh, Sanbeda doing wonders for, uh, for Coach uh, Frankie. Although a traveling infraction will be called in Taupa, but like what you mentioned, Alan, you would have to love all the players, even the, the bench players, just, you know, going after the ball, going on for the loose balls, rebounding it. Maganda na, maganda na ang uh, pagtikwatro dito ni Frankie Lim. <laughs> Nagaanap na siguro ng Yossi ito. Yossi break na, Yossi break. <laughs> Padilla, 4-3. Corona. They're not yet over they're with, with their defense. It's just so amazing to see players like this. And you will just uh, be able to see this only here on the NCAA Season 83, only on Studio 23, Kabarkada Mo. Tampak na ngayon kalaban. 71 to 48, but still, the defense won't give up. Hindi, tsaka makikita mo talaga, tuloy-tuloy lang ang ginagawa nila both in offense and defense. That speaks well of the kind of system that Coach Frankie has also instilled here sa team ng San Beda. So, ibig sabihin, pati yung kanilang team trainer is doing their job, ano? So, everything, everything is going San Beda's way, really. And both squads also, although, yes, St. Benil, you may say that St. Benil won't be able to come back in this game. Well, what the miracle may be, 71 to 50, it's 21 point lead with two minutes and two seconds left on the clock. But you also have to admire St. Benil and Coach Caloy Garcia for, you know, giving uh, that hope and still being optimistic. Still talking to his players, telling the plays, you know, 
And you can see from the San, the St. Benil players, they're still uh, really not giving up. Although they know that it might be it might be really impossible to come back in this game. There you heard it. Policy and Marker mentioning the last two minutes in this game. G. Layuk slicing in is good. And here in the last two minutes, we're going to see the kind of shot that we expect from Gerald Layuk. I would love to see Sam Nick take a three pointer from the outside. <laughs> but no, he doesn't. He will take it from the inside, in and out. But look, that has been the kind of day for St. Benia. You thought you already had a rebound, but losing the ball out of bounds, probably that has been the, how it is for St. Benil in this game and probably the season, you know? They started the season well, first game. They had a good game, winning. And they had a couple of uh, games that they could have uh, won, but they didn't continue. They had a when they end game. Here in this game, they held on to uh, to this uh, to the game until uh, the end of the first half. But in the second half, just speaking well for its offense, and Beda, 27 points. And again, we talked at the top of the coverage. If you want to win against San Beda, you've got to limit them to at least 65 points. Taupa hitting the uh, free throw. He is a. Uh, Actually, two of five from the line is Taupa. We've got three out of six now. And Ekwe will get his curtain call. He will go to the bench. Raymond Magai will check in with a minute 20 seconds remaining in this game. David Pura bringing the ball down. With the Layu. Monte Castro drives it inside. There is the stingy defense of San Beda. Magai was there to help defend. 11 seconds on the shot clock. Even the cheerleaders of St. Benio still live, not giving up. There is Gerard Likes three-pointer with a minute three seconds remaining. He's proving to us that uh, he can really make those kinds of shots. Yeah, this is for you, Andre. And <laughs> Alan. Malayu palantira ni Layu ka. He's got a good touch, uh, pero yes, again, for a big man. Again, yun nga sinasabi natin. If uh, a man uh, of his height will be taking those kinds of shots, you'll be taking away the game of other guys who can play that, that game. You should be helping out in, the, in uh, uh, getting the rebound and stopping uh, stopping the man inside uh, with your last line of defense. But uh, four point big. The class yung uh, tinira ni uh, Gerald Dyer. Oh, nice look inside from Adilia over to Magai. Magai has four in this game. 75-56. Looks like the foul will be called. It will be on Alvin Padilla. On Studio 23, Cabargadamo. Monte Castro getting the minutes here in this game. Started for Coach Galoy. He's got a total of six points. Ito, pahinga na muna itong si... Uh, <laughs> there is Ogi Minor waving Ogi Minor, and it, having a good time. And also, don't forget to please do tune in to Samsung NCAA College Hoops every Monday, 5.30 p.m. with yours truly and Pia Boren over Studio 23. Doon pinapakita yung recap of the games, the scores, the highlights, the player of the week, game of the week, interviews. Alvin Padilla off the bench. Two points for Alvin Padilla and the crowd is enjoying it. Jacob Manlapas, a three-pointer. There is Taupa with the board at less than 20 seconds to go. Raymond Magai finishing with six points. Don't forget to please do drop by and check out www.ncaa.org.ph Everything about the NCAA That's www.ncaa.org.ph As we finish off this game The three-pointer That was G. Layu rounding up With 11 Final score 81-61 Sanbeda now securing them A spot in the final four